is up, family. This is Jamaican Fan 2000, and welcome to another episode of the Jamaican Minute, all the latest Jamaican news in less than one minute. And this is yet another news roundup for the week of April 2nd, or what I like to refer to as Hashmark Automaton Week. So let's get right into it. Uh, throughout this Automaton Week, I produced uh, videos talking about various things concerning Automaton and the band Jamaican starting off with the alternate album title that was originally. Um, going to be the title for Automaton rather than Automaton, which was going to be called Pangolin. Uh, I did a video talking about my favorite lyrics of the first six songs from Automaton that were readily available at the time um, from the vinyl artwork of Automaton. I did a video talking about um, talking about the two recent gigs that Jameric White played, so I'll be sure to put links to those videos down below in the description of this video so you're going to check out those Automaton Week videos. But here, let's get on to the news. Uh, this week was a big week for Jameric White and a big week for Automaton. Uh, the Jameric White played their first pre-European uh, tour gig at the La Salle Playlay in Paris, France. And my God, did they just astound us again. The set list from the La Salle Pole gig was one of the most deep, unexpected, amazing playlist set lists that Jamiroquai have performed live ever. JK did wear his light hat during the whole performance and absolutely stunned everybody. The French audience really loved what they saw based off all the videos and the pictures that I saw online. It was an amazing gig. Um, and uh, not to mention later on then during the week, uh, the uh, Ken Bruce show kept debuting uh, specific tracks from Automaton up to its release on that following Friday. Uh, on the Ken Bruce show, they debuted the tracks uh, Carla, Something About You, Shake It On, and a couple others, but those were all debuted on uh, BBC Radio 2 during the week. And of course, on March 31st, um, two, th two major things happened. The Automaton album was released for the first time. Uh, it was released in European and Jap Japan markets, and uh, and on the same day, Jamiroquai played their second European tour date, uh, uh, playing the Roundhouse in London, and uh, yet again, Jamiroquai killed it, based off the pictures and videos that I've seen online. Not to mention some of my close friends, um, Mrs. P. Jan Parsons, SB, uh, two of my friends from the Jamily who have been friends of mine for a very long time, were in the front row of the Roundhouse gig and took some amazing videos and pictures. Not to mention my friend Jan actually had a picture with my my screen name and took it to the front row and then put her, put her in some of her pictures. So thank you, Jan, for those. Those are very humbling and very cool. Um, but uh, yeah, Jamiroquai killed it at the Roundhouse in London on the March 31st. And not to mention, uh, we got another festival date during this week. Uh, it was confirmed that Jamiroquai will be playing the Paleo Festival in uh, Switzerland on July 20th. Um, and uh, even bigger news, uh, next to ne next to next to the album being released, uh, the day later it was being reported on Apple iTunes that Jamiroquai's album Automaton was number one in over 30 nations, 30 countries, Jamiroquai's Automaton uh, was ranked number one in sales due, um, based by Apple iTunes. So congratulations to Jamiroquai and the band. Um, I also uh, Dave, I also put up my much uh, most highly anticipated uh, two-part video Automaton review, and um, it was very, very positive. And not to mention, speaking of positivity, this whole been a whole week of positivity. Uh, the album reviews that have been coming out from published magazines, ranging from Q Magazine all the way up to Australian, has all been very, very positive. There have been a few little reviews here and there which didn't really have a lot of the hindsight of knowing the past of Jamiroquai and making crazy scatterbrain comparisons, but still, everything has been positive. And not to mention, two published uh, reviews came out from the French uh, tour date and the Roundhouse gig both overly positive so everything is super positive right now um, yeah and it's just been absolutely amazing week an absolutely amazing week and with Jamiroquai hitting number one around the world this is the first album I remember in a long time it's just been selling really really well um, and yeah I mean it's just been an absolutely crazy week um, but uh, you know it's it's, it's to be expected. I mean, they've been promoting this album so masterfully. But back to my review, um, I have put that up on my YouTube channel, and it's a two-part video of me covering the first six songs, reviewing the first six songs of Automaton and the last six songs of Automaton. So be sure to check my YouTube channel to check those videos out. 
Um, and that's about it for the week. Also, uh, earlier this evening, uh, Jumeric Y made an appearance on Italian television, on an Italian talk show. Um, and J JK had a fur jacket on and a freaking the blade hat working. They performed, uh, but it was kind of a playback version of Cloud9 that they were recording. So, eh, still a good performance. Uh, hopefully, I will be reporting to you a link or a video link to that performance from Italian television on the, 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 the talk show the evening talk show I used to say um, and maybe, maybe in tomorrow's Jumeric Y Minute when I start doing my unboxings so um, yeah keep an eye out for that but Jumeric Y did a pretty good solid performance there but this has been an amazing week for Jumeric Y and the reviews have been great and I personally think Automaton is the best album of the new sound era of Jumeric Y and uh, so far from what I've heard from the fans from the also the Jumeric Y subreddit got a remodel I, I remodeled the, uh, the subreddit look for the uh, new album, and uh, so far it looks really good, and the activity has been through the roof here and on YouTube, on the subreddit and on YouTube, so thank you everybody for interacting and sharing your reviews of Automaton on the Jumeric Y subreddit, and on the uh, comment sections on my YouTube video, on the second half of my Automaton review video here on YouTube, thank you for sharing your reviews, and if you haven't shared your reviews, um, go ahead and throw them up in the YouTube section of that second part of my Automaton uh, video review here on my YouTube channel, I would love to read your reviews but uh yeah that's about it for this week it is what is a busy week of news um coming next week coming at least on monday uh i will be mo like most of my fellow fans who pre-ordered the album and uh the european fans have already started to get them their albums are showing them on instagram and taking pictures and taking videos uh their vinyls and what have you i ordered the japanese copy of the standard issue of uh automaton album release and i also ordered the mitt pack with the uh gray t-shirt from the jamiroquai store the at least the american store so next week i will start re receiving my physicals and uh, I will be doing unboxing videos starting Monday. Hopefully Monday I'll do my unboxing video for the Japanese release of Automaton. I'll be showing the book. I'll be showing the, the CD tray, everything. So I'll be doing all that. And I'll be sure to pass on any more news that becomes uh, arises during this evening concerning Jamiroquai. And like I just said earlier, uh, their performance on Italian television. Hopefully there will be a video up by tonight on the, um, on the uh, YouTube channel of that uh, talk show which uh, I know where it is on YouTube, so I'll be able to find it and put it right up. So, uh, yeah, that's next week's going to be, uh, this is going to be unboxing week. <laughs> and, of course, uh, as a reminder, Jamiroquai's album does still come out April 7th in the United States, which will be a Friday. So, uh, I don't know if, I don't know if I'm going to go to the store and buy the American, but if it's readily available, I will go buy the American uh, copy, and I might do an unboxing video, or I might show it off. Who knows? It, it depends on, you know, it depends if it's readily available. So, that's about it. Links to everything I discussed in today's news roundup video is in the descriptions as always. It's going to be a rather long copious list of links, so just to help you keep up the date, uh, check those out and be sure to click on them and check out all the news that you missed during the week. And I also put up two summary posts from the Jamiroquai subreddit with uh, live pictures, the set lists, and live videos from both of the European, the first two European tour dates that Jamiroquai did this week from the La Salle Poly in Paris, France, and from the Roundhouse in London. So be sure to check those out on the Jamiroquai subreddit. This is Jamiroquai 2000. Man, what a busy week it's been. I'll see you again really soon with another Jamiroquai Minute. Another Jamiro fan talks about, and starting next week, hopefully my unboxing videos for my Jamiro Kawhi Automaton physical releases. So this is Jamiro fan 2000. Have a great weekend, everybody, and a happy, happy post Automaton week, you might say. Bye, everybody, and thank you all for the support and continuing to watch the videos and coming to the Jamiro Kawhi subreddit and contributing and discussing the new Jamiro Kawhi album with everybody. It's been a great, great time reading everybody's comments and everything. Bye, everybody, and have a great weekend, as I just said. Sorry, hate repeating myself. Bye.